Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe, the Inspired Goddess. And today I wanna to bring you a conversation um, inspired by a quote by Aldous Huxley. I want you to listen to this quote. We're gonna talk some soul, we're gonna talk some, we are not our minds, we are our soul, and I wanna share this with you. Here's the quote. Man is much more than the personality he takes himself to be. He cannot achieve his wholeness unless and until he realizes his true nature, discovers and liberates the spirit within his soul, and so unites himself with God. This quote is incredible. So you will come to find on this channel, we will talk about the really big shifts for us in our own journey of self-love, spirituality, um, and just peace and, and harmony within ourselves, a big part of it was realizing we are not our minds. We are not our thoughts. We are not our bodies. We are our soul. We are the spirit within us. And that's what he's talking about. You're never going to discover who you really are until you free your soul from within, which means to shed the mind, let go of the mind, stop judging yourself and become the infinite observer that soul is. So how does this help you? How does this help you love yourself? Well, you're able to start loving yourself when you realize you're not your thoughts. So the thoughts that you have that maybe you feel embarrassed about, or maybe you regret, or maybe you um, are angry with yourself or resent, whatever it is, you are not your thoughts. So when you could realize, hey, I'm not my thoughts, I'm soul, you can release that. You can release that shame and judgment that you've been putting on yourself. And every time you do that, you get one, one notch closer to loving yourself and not being angry or embarrassed by yourself all the time. I know I used to, I used to be very, very hard on myself. I would have a conversation with someone and the next thing I would know, I would analyze everything I had said to them. And a lot of times I would be filled with so much like shame and embarrassment. Oh, why did I say that? And now it's like, no, whatever I say, I'm very present. I'm very, I'm very present with what I say. And if something does come up and the mind wants to think, oh, why did you say that? It's like, no, I'm soul. Whatever was said, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to release it. And I'm going to love myself because soul is love. You are soul, my love. So you're going to hear this back and forth on this channel. We're here to teach you, help you grow in a relationship with yourself. I know for myself, there was a point where I didn't want to wake up in the mornings. I did because I had children and they were more important at that time to me than the alternative. And they still are, you know, my number one priority always will be. But there was times that I didn't want to wake up in the morning and I didn't love myself. I didn't know how to love myself. I was filled with so much just shame. I was filled with a lot of resentment towards, um, towards unresolved issues I had in childhood. I was angry at myself for not being better. And through my spiritual growth and through realizing that I am not my mind, I am the spirit within, I am soul, and I am perfect now how I am, it was like I was able to release a lot of those things that had made me not want to get up in the morning. A lot of the pain, a lot of just the, the sadness that I had been carrying with me for so many years, and now I'm going to tell you right now, I love life. I love life. I freaking love life. <laughs> and you will see on our videos how much we love life. I never dreamed that I could wake up every day happy. I never dreamed that my whole day, I would be excited for it. Whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, I'm excited for every moment of my day. I don't live in the past anymore. I don't live in the future. I am very present with my time. And because of that, love life. So I'm going to read this quote again. I want you guys to listen. Man is much more than the personality he takes himself to be. He cannot achieve his wholeness unless and until he realizes his true nature, 
discovers and liberates the spirit within his soul and so unites himself with God. God is within all of us. Through soul, through source energy, we have God within us. And that is what unites us all. We are all a little bit of that source energy that is God. We all have it within us. We are not our minds. We are not our thoughts. We are not our words. We are not our actions. We are not our bodies. We are our soul. Love you guys. So happy you could join us. Bye.